Hello there, friends and family. Welcome once again to the Navis Kitchen. Today we are preparing some soup. Yes, take a look at that fish over that fufu and that soup. I know you're hooked and you want to stay and watch the entire video just to see how this all came to be. Let's cook, friends. Now, if you watch my videos, you know I love my fresh ingredients. So for my protein, I need to add some marinade to it. In Ghana, we do not cook any protein without a marinade. And our marinade usually consists of ginger, onion, garlic, and some chili. So that is actually equivalent to Spanish sofrito, or French mirepoix, or Creole Holy Trio or Trinity. So I have my onions, I have my ginger, I have my garlic, and I also have two types of chilies. So I have my pochetto, which is petite bell chilies, and I also have fresno chili, which is optional. You do not need to use it, but I love that fragrance. So now I also have some aniseed and some black peppercorns. Yes, and then I also have some dry smoked shrimp to bring us that lovely seafood flavor with that extra oomph because it has the smokiness and this soup really could use that. So blend it all together, add some salt to your already cleaned red snapper fish. I also have some grouper in here. And if you watch my videos, especially those that I cook my seafood in, you would know my favorite fish of all time is what? Yes, grouper fish. <laughs> if you give me grouper fish, man, I'll tell you all my secrets. <laughs> so pour some of that beautiful marinade on the fish and stir it together after you added the salt. Set it aside, let it marinate for about 20 minutes while you prepare the rest of your ingredients. So I recently cured some lamb, tolo bifi. So I have cut them up into these small pieces and I'm also adding some cured beef, beef brisket. So yes, we are going to develop these flavors beginning with these lovely ingredients. We're going to get some nuttiness out of these cured meats. So I've added some freshly chopped onions and I've also added some water. I'm going to cook this through thoroughly first before we introduce the fish because the meat takes a longer time to cook. And also it helps to really develop the flavors and get those nutty flavors bursting. So place the lid on there, let it cook for about 15 minutes. And when the lid is removed after 15 minutes, you should notice that the water you added in the beginning has reduced dramatically. Place the lid back on and let it continue to cook again for about 10 minutes, still on medium heat. And when you go back in, you should also notice at this point that most of the fat has been rendered off and the water is completely gone, okay, evaporated. And your meat should be cooked through perfectly at this point. Now the fat that's been rendered off, you can do what I did. I removed some of that fat because we don't need all that. We, we need the flavors which we have successfully developed at this point, so we don't need all that fat. Now we're going to cook it a little more to get the caramelized bits on the bottom and then add your tomato paste as well as your bay leaf. And then also cook it after the tomato paste and the bay leaf. You want to cook for about five minutes and then add your blended ingredients of ginger, garlic, onion, your black pepper, corns, the aniseed, and also the Fresno chilies. And once you add that blend, you're going to cook for about five to 10 more minutes before introducing the next ingredients which are fresh tomatoes and eggplants that become your thickening agent. Cover it and let it cook another 10 minutes. And when you go back in, you'll notice that the tomato, the skin is cracked, it's perfect and tender. Now we can blend. Because the skin has been cooked, it's now tender. You notice that from the crack. And so when you blend it, it will be completely smooth. You won't need to um, strain it. So you want to blend till you have that smooth texture. And you want to add some water, obviously, before you blend, then add those juices into the pot, add some more water. Like I said, all the ingredients and their quantities have been listed in the description box, so check it out. So now you stir it all up, 
We're still cooking on medium heat. Once you stir it up, you're now going to place your marinated fish into the soup. Just look at how that fish fell into the soup so elegantly. Hey, and I'm not sure who's safe. <laughs> so now you want to add the rest of the marinade and then add a little more water from rinsing your marinating bowl. Clean your pot nicely and let it continue to cook on medium heat. It doesn't take long to cook the fish. Now these here are my ginger which I have cut into discs. I love that in soup. And I also add some okra as well as some more petite bell chilies or babushito which just brings this flavor that's out of this world. I've also added some scotch bonnet or some habanero. You want to cook at this point for about 15 to 20 minutes without really disturbing the fish much or doing too much stirring. My sister Kwan Chihuahua would say, uh, uh, stir is uh, association. It's not very friendly at this point, so don't stir too much. So there you have it. It's cooked and we're ready to serve. Yeah, here is the fufu. If you haven't seen how I prepare my fufu with fresh cassava and plantain, you ought to watch the videos. Both of them are linked below, how I cook it on the stove top, and for those of you who are always in a hurry like I am, how I cook it in the microwave. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed the video. I also enjoyed eating the fufu and the soup. I enjoyed putting the recipe together. I thank you all so much for watching. As always, make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. <laughs>